Mountain Home Air Force Base just held its second gunfighter flag exercise of 2015. The, the point of this was to go out and put up some tens, structures, power, and just see what our capabilities would be. And it took the whole base to make sure everything came together. From the base itself, we had every group being represented. Along with people from medical, maintenance, operations, and mission support, there was a whole lot of air power. One of the keys to a successful exercise is coordination between people who don't normally work together. The integration between all the units trying to establish and set up Ten City on Monday was pretty unique to see everybody pitching in. Along with building and maintaining a Ten City, various groups completed mandatory training that would otherwise be done on base. They may not be super comfortable, but they're going to get you know, more out of it when they see it in a realistic situation. Hey, the other medic, can I grab some glass for his head? While the various groups planned on gunfire going off, helicopters coming and going, and jets providing air support, Idaho had a few other surprises in store. Um, getting heat out there this time of year was actually uh, something that didn't seem like we wanted it initially. I didn't think we would, but of course, weather changes, you're going to need heat out there. But finding the challenges in an exercise like this is what makes it successful. Nothing. Bottled water, you know, getting power consistently out there, getting heat out there, getting service. You know, the road's going to be muddy. So missions and exercises go smoother. Successful in the fact that we were able to test, yes, we can do this. In fact, we can make it uh, somewhat larger if we decide to. And train more airmen. Airman First Class Justin Carnahan, Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho.